Hey guys, in this topic we're going to create a banking program for practice. We'll be able to deposit money, withdraw money, and show a balance. This is more or less just for practice. Let's begin by creating our functions. Void show balance. There will be one parameter. Double balance. Whatever our bank account balance is, we'll show it. The return type is double. Deposit. No parameters. Double withdraw. And there will be one parameter. Double balance. Let's fill in a few things within the main function. Double balance. And I will go ahead and set this to zero. As well as int choice. I will set that to zero as well. We'll use a switch to determine if the user wants to show their balance, make a deposit, a withdrawal, or exit. Let's display some output, some prompts. Standard output, enter your choice. And I'm just gonna add some text decorations because I think that'll be cool. Maybe a bunch of asterisks. And one more. Okay, we have option one. One, show balance. Two will be deposit money. Three is withdraw money. Four will be exit. Then we'll accept some user input. Standard input choice. Now we're going to create a switch. We're examining the user's choice. Switch. We're examining our choice against many matching cases. We have case one, case two, three, four, then a default case. Okay, case one. The user wants to show their balance. We'll invoke the show balance function, but we need to pass in our balance. Balance, and then we are going to break. Case two, the user wants to deposit money. So we're going to take our balance equals balance plus our deposit function. So deposit will return a double right here. So we're going to add that to our balance once we verify it. Actually, we can shorten this to balance plus equals whatever value is returned with the deposit function. Then we are going to break. Case three, withdraw money. Balance minus equals the withdraw function, pass in our balance. We're withdrawing money from our balance once we verify it. Then we're going to break. We'll exit with case four. I'll display some output. Standard output. Thanks for visiting. Then I'm going to break. Okay, default case. Standard output. Invalid choice. Okay, now we're going to place all of this code within a do while loop. Do all of this while some condition is true. So let's take all of this code, cut it, put it within that do while loop. Let me just format this a little bit. The condition will be while choice does not equal four. Four is what we use to exit. We'll need to add some function definitions, but I'm gonna fill these in later. We'll need to return something, so let's return zero for the time being, for two of these functions at least. Return zero. Okay, let's run and compile this just to test our do while loop. Okay, enter your choice. Uh, one, show balance. That doesn't show our balance yet, but it will. Deposit money, withdraw, 
Now we should be able to exit by pressing 4. Thanks for visiting. Okay, so we know that the do while loop is working. Let's fill in our functions. Let's begin with show balance. Now with the show balance function, we're receiving our balance as an argument. So I'm going to display standard output your balance is dollar sign or some other currency if you choose. I'll display our balance, then add a new line. So let's say we have $123 in our account. I'm going to show my balance. $123 even. But I would like to display cents. I'll need two decimal places after the decimal. So there's one thing we can include. We'll include this header file. Include IO man IP. There is a function in here to set some precision for floating point numbers. I'm going to make this change after the dollar sign. Standard set precision pass in two for two decimal places. Then add standard fixed. This will display our balance up to two decimal places after the decimal point. So let's try that again. Okay, show balance, $123.00. If I were to change this to 123.01, we should display two decimal places. Yep, $123.01. Okay, that is the show balance function. Let's work on the deposit function. Okay, now we're within the deposit function. I'm going to create a local variable named amount. Set this equal to zero. We'll ask the user how much they would like to deposit. Standard output, enter amount to be deposited. Standard input, our amount. So I'm gonna set balance back to zero. Then let's test it. Show balance. One, your balance is zero dollars and zero cents. I would like to make a deposit. Uh, Four hundred twenty dollars sixty nine cents. Okay, now I would like to show my balance after we make a deposit. So within case two, after making a deposit, let's show our balance, pass in the balance variable. Now let's do so after a withdrawal too. Okay, let's try that again. Show balance, zero dollars, zero cents, make a deposit, four hundred twenty dollars, sixty-nine cents. Your balance is zero dollars and zero cents. So what we're going to do is return our amount at the end of this function. Return amount. Four hundred twenty dollars, sixty-nine cents. All right, we have our balance. The user is able to enter in negative money. Enter amount to be deposited, negative 1,000. Your balance is now negative $1,000. We need to prevent somebody from making a negative deposit. So before we return our amount, let's use an if statement. If amount is greater than zero, then we will return the amount. else standard output that's not a valid amount then let's return zero okay let's try that again deposit money negative one thousand dollars that's not a valid amount your balance is zero dollars i'm just going to add a new line like right here then let's make a legitimate deposit. Deposit money. I will deposit $1,000 and one cent. Your balance is $1,000 and one cent. Okay, that is the deposit function. That is complete. Then we have the withdraw function. We'll create a local variable named amount of the double data type. We'll create a prompt, standard output. Enter amount to be withdrawn. 
standard input amount. At the end of this program, we will return amount. Okay, let's test it. Okay, I need to deposit some money first. I will deposit $1,000 and one cent. Then let's withdraw money. I will withdraw $100 and one cent. My new balance is $900, but we can overdraw our account still. So I'm going to withdraw a million dollars and one cent. Our balance shouldn't be negative, so let's prevent our user from overdrafting their account. Within our withdraw function, let's add an if statement. If amount is greater than, our balance will display insufficient funds. Then we will return zero. Okay, I'm going to withdraw $1 million and one cent. Insufficient funds, your balance is zero. Okay, now what if the user would like to deposit negative money? Withdraw money, negative 1,000. Your balance is $1,000. We'll need to make sure that the amount is a legitimate amount. I'll add an else if statement. If amount is less than zero, standard output, that's not a valid amount. Now, else, we will return the amount to be withdrawn. Then within the else if statement, we'll need to return zero. There. Okay, let's withdraw money. Enter amount to be withdrawn, negative $1,000. That's not a valid amount, that's good. Let's withdraw again. I would like to withdraw $100. Insufficient funds, my balance is zero. Let's deposit some money. $99.99, our balance is $99.99. Let's withdraw again. Let's try and withdraw $100. Nope, we can't. Let's withdraw again, $99.99. Your balance is zero, that's good, then let's exit. Press four to exit, thanks for visiting. Okay, so these functions are done. There's just one more thing we should add. If I type in some characters like the word pizza, well, this will break our program. We'll want to clear the input buffer. So after our choice, let's add these two lines. Standard input dot clear function. So I haven't talked about this function. This function will reset any error flags when the standard input fails to interpret the input. Then follow this with f flush. This is a function, pass in standard input. This will clear the input buffer. Basically speaking, once we hit enter, we have a new line character within our input buffer. So we just need to flush that and get rid of it. That should prevent our program from going crazy. So let's type in some characters. Invalid choice. Cool. Then I would like to exit. All right, everybody, that is a banking program for some practice. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's a banking practice program in C++.